This is how to make mini millionaires cheesecakes. They have a buttery digestive biscuit base, a caramel cheesecake filling, and they're topped with a rich chocolate ganache and sparkly bits. They're super easy to make and they can be ready to eat in less than an hour as you don't need to chill these ones overnight. I use cupcake cases as this makes it a lot easier to take them out. You could also turn this recipe into a big cheesecake. Freeze them for 15 minutes, then make your chocolate ganache. Heat the cream in the microwave, then pour it over and stir until combined. Let them set in the fridge and that's it. Enjoy. Three, four, give me some more. Five, six, just for kicks. We got a lot going down now. Up in this mix. We like nothing that you've ever seen. If you love peanut butter, you need to make this peanut butter cup ice cream with peanut butter swirls. Whisk condensed milk, double cream, and creamy peanut butter to soft peaks. Then fold through some Reese's minis. Pour one third into a loaf tin, then drizzle over melted peanut butter and swirl it through. Repeat this two more times, smooth it out, and finish with a swirl of peanut butter on the top. Sprinkle over some more Reese's cups, double wrap the tin, then freeze overnight. Enjoy! If you've ever got leftover brownies, you've got to try this Nutella fudge brownie ice cream. Just whisk together double cream, condensed milk, and Nutella until thick. Then fold in the brownie chunks and pour it into a tin or any container. I added a chocolate sauce swell here, but to be honest, I wouldn't bother as it was just as good without it. Double wrap it and freeze for six hours, then scoop it into a bowl. Enjoy! These Nutella cookie sandwiches are so good. The cookies are like soft fudgy brownie cookies and they're filled with vanilla buttercream. You only need four main ingredients to make the cookies and they're super quick and easy. If you don't want to use Nutella, you can always use another chocolate sauce. Bread. They're a little messy when you roll them, but stick with it, they'll turn out perfectly. For the icing, make sure the butter is soft, then gradually whisk in the icing sugar. Add vanilla and a splash of milk, then pipe it onto the cooled cookies, make a sandwich with another cookie, and that's it. Enjoy!